if that was not the best Vancouver Canucks game of the season, I don't know what was. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to say that this is the best Vancouver Canucks game that we've seen all decade. This is the decade's best. This is the year's best Vancouver Canucks game that we saw. And it just concluded here with a 7-5 win. Oh, get those 12 goals in my veins. 7-5 against the Chicago Blackhawks here at Rogers Arena in what was probably the most entertaining game this season. Aside from, I guess, the Pittsburgh game where we lost like 8-6, to six, that was entertaining, but not in a good way. This one was entertaining in the best way possible because it was some crazy action all throughout. It was some really good offensive skills from both of these teams, and ultimately the Canucks got the upper hand, so it feels much better to me than that Pittsburgh game does by a long, long, long shot. But speaking of shots, let's go over this game right here in a classic game review style. The Vancouver Canucks were coming into this one with a five game win streak and a record that was, at the time, second in the Pacific Division. Now, the other teams, I don't know what's going on with the other teams, but for a good portion of the time leading up to this game, the Canucks were second in the Pacific, and they were in a position where it was really, really tight, and they're still trying to hold on to that spot. Having a sixth straight win would have been nice, but it came across a Chicago Blackhawks team that was, I don't know, three straight? Four or three straight, something like that. The Hawks were on a win streak as well. And this was a battle of the win streaks. One would continue, one would defeat, and the Canucks end up going out on top here. And it all starts here in the first period, because the Vancouver Canucks, for what, something like the fifth straight game or something, they score the first goal of the game, which is something that they haven't done too much of all year, but has become a huge, huge trend as of late, and it pushes them in the right direction here. It's JT Miller with a really nice tip out in front. Pedersen sends it across over to Bo Horvat, who rips a shot over to the net. Miller is there to tip it by Robin Lehner. It's 1-0 Vancouver. Everything looks all great in Canuckland. And then, 10 minutes later, Connor Murphy responds off of a really just, uh, darn. You can't have them all, Jacob Markstrom, because Murphy just takes one over. He just lobs it over towards the net. It's in. This one's assisted by Kubalik and Jonathan Taves. It's 1-1 to end off the first period, but really, that's just the beginning. Because the second period saw things start off with a really, really quick shift, a really, really quick shot, a really, really quick goal. It's Jake Furtanen who goes down low, and he keeps a stick down there on the ice. He looks like he knows where the play is going to go. Then, the Chicago D-man tries to ring it around behind the net to his other D-partner. But Furtanen is there. He steals it. Steals it, sticks down on the ice, takes it right back, and then he sends a nice pass off the side boards over to Alex Adler, who one-times it towards the net, and Tanner Pearson is there to tip it in. Tanner Pearson has 12 goals on the year, and that was a really, really nice one. Edler has his 15th assist, and Jake Vertanen has his 12th. Yeah, he's got a lot of assists, doesn't he? Jake Vertanen has really been great, and that one play was a really good showcase of just the IQ coming out and presenting itself, because we haven't necessarily seen Jake Vertanen with that amazingly high IQ play in the past. It's a really small detail. It's a really small little thing to do, but it's so effective because he takes the puck out of possession and he sends it back over. Boom, shot, tipped in, it's in the net. And the Canucks at this point, it's 2-1, to one, and I'm thinking, yeah, that's awesome. We're winning the game, and it's been a pretty nice one so far. But then, oh no, David Camp scores. Ah, uh, it's tied. And then, oh no, Patrick Kane scores on the power play. Ah, uh, the Blackhawks have a lead. And then, oh no, Jonathan Taves scores off of Quinn Hughes. Taves scores a really weird goal where he's coming in on the wing, and he centers it tries to pass it out to his guy in front, but it takes a weird hop, and it goes off the leg of Quinn Hughes, who's gliding towards the net, trying to box his guy out, and he just hits it in. 
it goes off of Quinn Hughes and in. And at this point, the Canucks have let in three goals in like four minutes or something. And it doesn't look great. But this is where Travis Green steps in. He comes in, says, no, it's timeout time. Brings a team in for a little huddle, settles them down. And then the Canucks come back. And uh, give it a few minutes. The Canucks find themselves on the power play. And Quinn Hughes has the puck in his own zone. He's trying to bring it up, but then he gets intercepted and he has a really bad just giveaway. And the Hawks come in, get a little bit of a scoring chance. But at this point, I'm like, okay, Quinn Hughes, you're going to have to redeem yourself, buddy. That was a really bad play. Sure, he's been great the majority of the game, but first he lets in a goal off of his own leg and then he gives one up in the zone really quickly, shorthanded. And then, okay, okay, calm down. Calm down, the Canucks bring it back into the Chicago zone. Some really nice passing going on. Pedersen, Miller, Hughes. Okay, Miller, Pedersen back over to Miller, over to Hughes. He shoots it and he scores. There we go, straight right in. Quinn Hughes has his fourth on the year here. And it's assisted by Miller and Pedersen. At this point, JT Miller is at two points in the game. Pedersen is at two points in the game. And things are looking really gosh darn good because the Canucks are starting to come back. Give it one minute later, and Elias Pedersen with a brilliant snipe out in front, set out by Besser and Miller. Miller's third point of the game. Pedersen's third point of the game. Pedersen has 19 goals on the year. Besser with 26 assists, and Miller with 24 assists. And things are looking very, very good, coming into the third period with a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie game, and the Vancouver Canucks are really trying to settle things down once the third starts because it's 4-4 at the end of the second. The shot's on goal at this point to end off that second period. It's 25-25, to so it's a really even-steven game. But the third starts, and all of a sudden, it's Bo Horvat, who scores his first goal at home that's not a very controversial kicking motion. This one, he backhands it in off of the Chicago player, and just like the Quinn Hughes goal, the own goal, it's Gilbert who has the puck go off of his skate and in. Bo Horvat has his second goal at home and his 11th overall, assisted by Edler and Pearson. Alexander Edler at this point, he's got two points on the night. Then, give it up for Patrick Kane, who comes in just a little bit later, because Patrick Kane, he just comes in, he shoots it, and he rips it right home through the five-hole. That was a classic Patrick Kane-like goal. We're used to Kane scoring these daggers against the Vancouver Canucks. But then, give it a little bit, because Robin Lehner is a bit hurt. Now, he's been getting hurt a little bit throughout this game, and it's quite unfortunate to see... The puck's coming in under the mask. He gets one onto his left side in the second period. Then he gets one onto his right side from a Besser shot in the third period. And then right before Gaudette scores this goal, Tanner Pearson crashes the net and falls on top of Robin Lehner's right leg. The next play, the Canucks come in. It's Gaudette. He comes in, he shoots it, he scores it. And the Canucks have the lead. It is six to five at this point. And Gaudette has a really, really nice one. His eighth on the year. Miller gets an assist here. Miller has four points on the night. JT Miller has four points. And the Canucks have the lead. So give it a few minutes. The Canucks end up taking a penalty because Tyler Mott trips a guy. I think it was to Brinkat. And the Canucks kill it off. The empty net comes out, and then all of a sudden it's Bo Horvat who receives a pass coming into the zone, and he backhands it towards the net, and he misses. Bo Horvat misses an empty net from the half boards on the backhand. But have no fear, because Horvat in his own zone, he blocks a shot, takes the puck up to his own blue line, throws it over towards the net, and... He scores. Bo Horvat now has three goals at home, and this one was his 12th on the night. Pearson with the assist on the empty net goal, so Tanner Pearson has a three-point night as well. Really nice for him. Horvat had three points. Pearson had three points. Patterson had three points. JT Miller had four points on this one, and Alex Edler had two. 
Jacob Markstrom, he makes uh, 28 saves on 33 shots, an 848 save percentage. It's not great, but still, he had a really good showing in this one, and the Vancouver Canucks ultimately take it. It's a 7-5 game, and what an entertaining one that was. In my opinion, that was the most entertaining game of the decade. You can't tell me that I'm wrong, and the Canucks ultimately take it. It's a really nice one, and the Canucks now have won six straight in this season. The first time in three years that they've done that. The Canucks are now over there as the third best team in the Pacific, because Arizona is over there with 50 points, Vegas is over there at 52 points, and the Canucks are just battling hard for that wild card spot if they don't manage to keep on to that Pacific spot because Calgary is one point behind. Hope you enjoyed this video, and bye.